I'm Lawrence Ortner. I'm with Warner Electric, and I, today I wanted to uh, demonstrate the express setup of a Stratix 5700 switch. Uh, the Stratix 5700 switch right out of the box can be used as an unmanaged switch, but an unmanaged switch doesn't give you any of the capabilities of optimizing the switch or uh, getting diagnostics from it. So to, to get that, we run it through Rockwell's express setup, which executes a, a, a global macro and that global macro enables uh, certain parameters in the switch that will optimize it for a, a Rockwell Ethernet IP network, uh, such as enabling the IGMP snooping and uh, spanning tree protocol and other things. The express setup of a Stratix 5700 switch is actually fairly easy to complete. There's a recessed push button at the top of the switch and you need a, a, a special configuration tool, a, a bent paper clip. And uh, a, just a single push of that push button puts the switch into the express setup mode. And so uh, just a small push and one of the port lights is gonna flash. And I see port number one is flashing here and I can connect my computer to that port. Now, if you leave it too long, it'll fall back out of that express setup mode and go back to being an unmanaged switch. But being in that mode, the switch will now respond to uh, a web browser, a web configuration. Uh, I'm just gonna use Google Chrome here. Once the switch is in the express setup mode, it'll respond as, uh, uh, to a web browser at the IP address 169.254.0.1. So I'm gonna put that into the web browser. And it replies back with a request for a user's name and password. And the factory default user's name and password for the Stratix 5700 is admin switch fairly simple to remember, although it's in the user's manuals. So shortly after that, the switch will reply back with the express setup page um, with three basic things to enter. A name for the switch, I'm just gonna use its name, Stratix. A place for an IP address, I'm gonna use probably the most common IP address there is for a switch. And then finally, uh, setting the, I the uh, password for the switch. And again, I'm just gonna use Switch, fairly straightforward and simple. When I click the submit button, not only do these parameters get set in the switch, uh, but the switch executes that global macro, which enables the features to make it more optimized for a Rockwell Ethernet IP network, and, and also enables the uh, diagnostic features. Without those diagnostic features enabled, the only options we get for monitoring the switch are the lights on the front itself. With those things enabled, we can monitor the switch with a web browser or monitor it in a Logix controller itself. From this point, you can see on the web interface that uh, we're into the main page, the, da the dashboard, and we could continue with more configuration, although I typically recommend that you immediately cycle power on the switch and use the new IP address. Give just a moment power down, and the switch takes a few moments to power back up, about a minute or two. And during that time, I'm going to change the computer's IP address to match the new IP address in the switch. If you're ever going to work with a, a Rockwell switch, you're going to find that you need to change IP address fairly frequently. With that IP address changed, I'm going to take a peek here at the switch. So now that the Stratix 5700 switch is powered up again, um, it's ready to be configured using its new IP address. I've changed the computer's IP address to match the same scheme, and I just need to put the switch's IP address in the web browser. Again, ask for the user's name and password. And we're back to the dashboard again with the switch's new IP address. At this point, the switch is a fully managed switch gives you all the capabilities of uh, getting diagnostics through the web browser or through uh, a Logix 5000 controller. If you need more information about a Stratix switch, you can contact Werner's Technical Support Group or contact me directly.